good afternoon, Liebshas. So how are you doing in the energy of gratitude and unconditional love? It was phenomenal receiving that message yesterday from Sri and Kira, um, for anybody who tracks with them. Uh, I was on the phone with Lady Natasha, and we were literally going over you know, just all the gratitude and the joy. And I was telling her as I was driving yesterday, I was like, yeah, I'm just going down the street going, I love you, I love you, you know how grateful I am for you, and this, that, and the other, right? So here we are today on the new moon, June 28th. And, you know, I'm still holding that energy and I'm inviting. And I even had the opportunity to slip into the wounded energy it, it, and I even said out loud to my co-worker I said right now my inner child just wants to cry and it's feeling very hurt right now and very betrayed so I'm loving myself unconditionally and you know I'm just finding the gratitude because a lot happened while I was away and part of me expected it because of the wounded masculine Let's just call a spade a spade, all right? And that's okay. It has to be okay. Everybody's on their journey. It, life's a journey. So how you engage that energy really matters, all right? So what did I do? Came on home, took myself a little siesta because I was like, I'm feeling a little drained right now. Held my ascension rods, the Egyptian healing rods. Uh, like I said, I did take a nap, put those suckers under my pillow, got up, fixed myself a green drink, yay for pineapple and spinach with some water. Um, of course, you have to strain it too. Ice is great. Oh man, oh man, it was so yum. And now I'm outside enjoying this, and no, I got to get back to my videos, which I'm uploading right now. Well, they're not uploading. They're in the craft making. So. Anyway, there's that. Uh, guys, look, a handful of times I have been able to navigate in such deep honoring and just like wow energy. But I've been able to do this now consistently since coming back and I am so thankful. So wherever you are, whoever you are, hold that energy. Just, God knows you, you're amazing. You keep being amazing. And I will holler at everybody later. Bye for now. Hi, hello everyone. So I haven't use my other camera because I'm like I got everything behind me I don't know if I really want to share all of that anyway um, yeah I'm kind of shy so I figured I'd just say that that's why the camera is grainy be that as it may we are going to do a little quick reading here for everyone that will ever find this video here on the YouTube and today is June the 28th, 2022. It is an illuminated new moon. Uh, it's apparently a very powerful new moon. We don't have the calendar right in front of me, but I do know I'm really picking up on it and I'm loving it. And I'm also actually just want to take all the roughage from my fruits and vegetables and just go plant it in the earth anywhere. And I live in an apartment. So yeah that's happening lots of different energies right now so if you track with me then you know why at this particular moment i think it's great so at this time we are going to use the dragon wisdom deck by christine ariana fodder and it is illustrated by anji cost ka okay that's t-k-a all right so we're just going to go ahead Give a quick shuffle real quick. Like that, quick, quicker. <laughs> oh man, I don't know about you, but yeah, things are quite interesting, aren't they? Hope you guys are liking the videos too. 
Ooh. Ooh. How cool. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right. So, you ready? The red fire dragon would like to teach you that feeling and sensing all forms of intuitive knowledge. If your emotions are blocked or lied, buried by the past suffering, pain, abuse, or fears, access your inner wisdom will also be obstructed. Fear. What a great tool to work through in order to get to your intuitive knowing. All right, ask the red fire dragon to free you from all of the negative experiences and their crystalline structures within you. These structures are often located in your back, causing pain and rigidity. They can sometimes also disturb the harmonic energy flow in our organs. Where there is fear, there can also be no love. All right, meditation, light at least one white candle and play some calming instrumental music. Close your eyes and use your inner voice to summon the old red fire dragon to come into your room. Ask it for the power over the element of fire. Now mount its back and fly with it to the depths of the earth. Open your channels and slip through the magma, the lifeblood of Lady Gaia. Here you will experience deep cleansing at every level. All the chains keeping your power in check must yield to this fire. All the constraints you your free will burn. All that constrains your freedom will burn. That doesn't make any sense. I'm literally reading this and this doesn't... All that constrains your free will burn. Okay. All that equals fear dissolves and every doubt within you dies. Surrender to the magma and feel the good it does to your body. How it relaxes you. See how the magma supports and holds you and how you are becoming one with the magma as it spreads through you, burning away all that now is redundant crystalline structures. Feel how a new invigorating energy, a liberating energy, is manifesting with itself within you. The dragon has brought you to the heart of the Great Mother, who carries and nourishes you each day. Feel the great love of Lady Gaia, let it flood through you and bathe you in the red hot magma. The old red fire dragon then places you on its back and returns you to your room. Now take a deep breath and open your eyes right here and now and say the following sentence out loud three times. May every living thing be happy and free of fear. May this sentence be with you until the end of days. Perform this meditation seven times on a successive days, always at the same time. So you guys know you can transmute your own fear and get through it, right? You know you can. The red dragons are always there to assist you. Lady Gaia is always there to assist you. Remember, cards are a footnote. They're there to remind you of your empowerment. As you are remembering who you are and your empowerment, it's working an awareness with them. Awareness. You already know you can. You have the ability to literally, in this energy we are now, awaken even more if you're willing to look at everything that is blocking you. And I should know. I mean, hell, I, <laughs> I kept hearing right before I got on the plane, you better get on that plane. Yes, I know, I'm going to be on that plane. I'm going to be. Terrified the whole time. You know, it's one thing to do multiple and lots of cross-country trips. That's another now to, to, to go and get on the plane and go to another country. Hmm. You know, I know you get this. So, with the energy of the dragons, though, look at this. A mighty red dragon is willing to assist you. Don't give your power away. Allow yourself to know your power know it live it feel the burn <laughs> it's good and so it is so thank you everybody you have a spectacular day i'll holler at you later bye for now